What's up, everybody? Go Burns here, giving you my review of the San Andreas Flight School update for Grand Theft Auto Online. First off, let's get into the pros. <laughs> yes, there are some pros to this update, believe it or not. The Flight School, solo missions, all ten of them. Add a little something something to help you improve your flying skills. And there's some replayability there because you can uh, earn bronze medals, silvers, and all the way up to golds for all 10 missions. Plus you earn a little bit of RP and Grand Theft Auto currency. The only con I see is that some of them want to make you pull your hair out. And when you complete all 10 missions, your only reward is a t-shirt. I know, kind of sucks. Anyways, the next pro is the Coquette Classic Sports Car. Both varieties, the hard top and topless, which is my favorite of the two. The con I would say about the Coquette Classic, despite the fact it's an awesome sports classic, the price tag is kind of high. But that's par for the course for all the vehicles in the Flight School update. Next, brand new jobs. That's right, brand new jobs for you to play, including races, captures, parachute racing, and of course, the Versus missions are pretty sweet as well. Now, the Reserve Parachute is definitely a big pro for the San Andreas Flight School update, especially when you're up there in the sky, thousands of feet above Los Santos, and for whatever rhyme or reason you lose your first parachute, it's always nice to have a backup, so definitely a good idea, Rockstar, to give us a Reserve Parachute, plus new parachute designs and skins, and of course, the Patriotic Parachute Bags. This is a pro and a con. For one thing, the pro is there's 25 countries, but it opens a Pandora's box because several other countries across the planet, which have Grand Theft Auto Online gamers, you know, like New Zealand, Portugal, the Netherlands, Philippines, Portland, China, and a few others have been left out, unfortunately, when it comes to the patriotic bag. So you really can't please everybody with the uh, patriotic national parachute bag. So that's, that's the part that kind of sucks. Now, moving on to some more pros. There's several fixes, glitches, and exploits that have been improved and tweaked and fixed. Of course, there will always be more down the road. That's just the way it goes. And uh, several other options, including uh, with Blester. When you're riding around with friends now, and if there's a wanted level, or you want to go off the radar, or if you want the cops to turn a blind eye, whenever you call Lester, all those options apply for everybody in the car, in the SUV, helicopter, plane, whatever. Plus, Lamar's mugger option has been tweaked, and there's better payouts for the more difficult missions. A definite con involves rooftop rumble. It has unfortunately suffered because of the uh, change in the payouts. And now you get a lot less when you do Rooftop Rumble, even with four people. If you would like to check out a complete list of fixes and updates on 1.16, I have it linked for you below in the description section. Now, the uh, final pro, well, pro and con, back and forth, are the three new vehicles. It's nice to have new vehicles, so that's always a pro. The new aircraft, the Besra, the Miljet, and of course the Swift. Now here comes the cons concerning all three vehicles. First off, the Bestra, despite the fact it's fast, fun, maneuverable, it is a bit pricey and it has absolutely no armaments, no cannons, no missiles, no anything. It would be nice if it at least had some guns. Anyways, moving on with the Meljet, very, very expensive. And of course it has inferior stats to several other aircraft, according to the Rockstar Social Club. And the scene of the entire lobby, all 16 people, really doesn't make much sense and that's probably something that's not going to ever really truly be accomplished unless you happen to have 15 other pals and crew members that are going to get along and even so chances are that's going to cause some serious lag and con of the swift the helicopter despite its looks it isn't faster or better than any other of the helicopters in the game already and the buckingham swift is pretty freaking expensive a couple more vehicle cons the laser why isn't the laser purchasable and in Pegasus? I really wish Rockstar would have done that because a lot of people would just rather be able to pay a million dollars or two million dollars instead of having to constantly go into the uh, air base at Zancudu. It would just be nice if we had that option. Next con, concerning Hydra and Hunter. They're MIA. Where are they? There was some code that leaned towards the possibility of us getting Hydra, and it would have been nice if we'd have got both, especially since this is the San Andreas Flight School DLC, but hopefully we may see one or both of those vehicles in a future DLC down the road. We can only hope, right? The next con, no new weapons, no new pistol, no new rifle, no new melee weapon, nothing. 
Would have been nice if we at least got something weapon-wise. And the final con on my list is kind of a big one in my opinion. It may not seem like one, but it definitely adds value to the DLCs. Lack of wardrobe. All we really have is one $50,000 flight suit and a flight cap. That's it. Now, I make this the big con because I believe we were actually kind of sort of deceived by Rockstar with their San Andreas Flight School trailer that they posted on Monday. They had several different uniforms, some camo gear, and we were all led to believe by that trailer that we were actually going to get that as part of our wardrobe that we could purchase in the update. Obviously, we did not. So, yeah, I think Rockstar seriously dropped the ball with that trailer. It just seemed too good to be true. Plus, there were celebrations and some tattoos featured, along with the dog tags that we obviously did not get in the San Andreas DLC update. Now, of all that said, weighing the pros and the cons, the final verdict regarding the San Andreas Flight School, in my opinion, is while it has some added value to Grand Theft Auto Online, at the same time, I believe this is probably one of the worst DLCs that we have gotten thus far from Rockstar. And I sincerely hope that Rockstar doesn't take that the wrong way. I do appreciate all the free DLC that they do make for us, even though it's technically not free because a lot of people end up spending shark cards in order to purchase the various items and vehicles. I just hope they learn from this lesson. The fact that they did technically deceive us with that trailer and they didn't give us as much stuff as they should have. There should always be at least a couple weapons, one or two. There should be you know, a nice assortment of wardrobe options. And honestly, Hydra, Hunter, where are they? They should have been included in the Flight School DLC. And it would have been nice if the Bezra had some guns. But oh well, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What was your favorite thing about the San Andreas Flight School DLC? And what was your least favorite? Let me know below in the comments section if you found this video informative. And if you share my opinion about it, hit the like button. Be sure and check out my channel for daily content seven days a week. And of course, I also have a Facebook page linked below in the description section. As always, thanks for watching.